Hi, this is Rob Wilcox. Just wanted to give you a bit of a demo today of uh, Enterprise Vault Policy Manager, or EVPM. What we've got here is uh, my test LD user, and I just want to show you a folder in their mailbox that we're then going to set uh, a policy on. So if we go to this uh, Sent Items folder here, the Enterprise Vault tab, uh, this is the Outlook 10.0.1 client, the unified client. So this can see the Enterprise Vault Properties tab, even when it's in HTTP mode. And we'll be able to see the policy that's applied um, to this particular folder. So as you can see here, this folder is set to um, you know, have a normal looking policy um, with the zero day archiving, deleting the original item and so on. What we're going to do is jump over to the EV server, and I've got this um, policy, this uh, EVPM policy file here. I'm just going to change this to be sent items. So uh, this is a sort of standard looking EVPM uh, file, and this is quite a simple one, as you can see. I'm just going to touch my test user here. I have to give it some Enterprise Vault connection details here. And then in this section, I'm telling it what to do with a particular folder. Um, these filters that you can set up, um, there are some standard ones. One is called System Defaults, and this other one is called Do Not Archive. Obviously, the Do Not Archive is the one that we want. What we're going to do is set the Sent Items folder to Do Not Archive. I'm just going to save this file here. I'm going to run EVPM. That's my name of my Exchange server, and that's the name of my um, system mailbox. This is the name of my EVPM script file and that's just going to run straight away like that. Now for this particular one, if we jump back to my um, Windows machine and go to the properties of the sent items folder again now, you can see that it's set to do not archive. Simple as that. You don't have to synchronize the mailbox, you don't have to run the archiving task, it just takes effect straight away. One of the things to notice on here though is you see that I can change this though now and uh, you know I can set it back or make my own policy, my own retention category and so on. So how do we get rid of this bit where a user is allowed to make the changes? Well, we jump back to the EV server. If I edit the script file here, there is a setting called override archive locks and you set it to true. Oop, sorry, you set it to true. Save that file and then we run EVPM again and straight away if we jump back over to the Windows machine, send items folder, go to the properties, the Enterprise Vault and there you can see now straight away you cannot change these settings. So. That's the simplest way that you can set up EVPM. We'll just go back for a review there. Um, the EVPM uh, utility is described in the utilities guide and there is a huge amount of things that you can do with EVPM. Kind of making a, a folder set to do not archive and stopping users from changing that is sort of the simplest one of those. Uh, in a further video, I'll show you some more details, but I hope this has given you a little introduction of what you can do with EVPM. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.